Okay, in this fifth tutorial in this series of cycle rendering and texture maps, uh, I think we'll take it a cylinder in the scene and we'll uh, use the existing projections that they have built in for us. Let's see. So we'll add a, uh, we'll move this back just a little bit again. We'll add a cylinder to the scene here. There it is. All right. And then you might imagine if we were to try and grab this and grab maybe this edge like here maybe that edge over there that those might fall open and then maybe we'd have to grab maybe an edge here we'll grab this also we'll see what that looks like we'll just do this first and let's go get our UV window there it is right there alright and we'll just go mark that seam and then we'll highlight everything whoops uh oh I've done that before, right? Let me see mesh tools. I hit A in there. All right, then we'll come up here and we'll unwrap it like that. And let's just take a look up in this window and see what see what it did. So there's our two edges there, and there's that there. So that's the way it unwraps it for us if we do it like that. So let's Control Z that. There's now they're no longer marked. So now let's go into the UV window pressing U and just use cylindrical projection. And the, these are in here because these are typical coordinate systems. If you're not into math, typically there's these are really common ways in order to represent points in three dimensional space. Typically you see it in like a cube, X, Y, and Z coordinates, but then you have cylindrical and spherical coordinates where you represent things also with angles as well and radial distances so let's just see what their projection does automatically if we use cylindrical projection let's see what it does in here well looks like uh, looks like it just gets the end of the cylinder so maybe I'm gonna have to mark it anyway so let me I'm in there let me get all of them and do redo that cylindrical projection let me see what happens all right, now we have, let's see, now, I didn't have to mark seams or anything, so that's how they have it unwrapped like this. So let's just try and use it. Let's just see what happens. Let's move it over to here, onto this image. I mean, you can see why this is a, an art for sure. I mean, there's jobs you can get. You can just become a, you can just map images. I think you could probably work all day long if you were really great, great image mapping individual because it's it's work there's no doubt about it all right let's see what this does here all right and then we'll go to the node editor make sure I have a material add a texture connect it up let me see what image what image was that does it say oh no uh, my See if I can see the name of it. Simple, simple tests too. All right. All right. So there it is, mapped onto there. And let's see what it looks like. Notice there's no input on it like that. And now I want to let out of edit mode. It still works. So there it is, mapped into the scene like this. Let's just uh, rotate it on Z. A little bit so it wrote, there it is that green is up at the top edge of it there rotate it on X a little bit and there is let's see so let's try and line it up you notice they have that in there so we'll go look in the UV image editor where did it go there it is all right had the wrong one selected so you can see it's there so let's just oriented a little bit so that's sitting right over the center like that and then it's outside of the blue there so the bottom is going to be missing that one little piece we could verify that if we just go over here let's look on the bottom side now, there it is there's that little piece that's missing like that right there see there's that gray right there but I want it in the center so let's just take the whole thing and just 
scale it down just a little bit. And you see it goes away right like that. Maybe we'll do it so the so this is right close to the center as much as possible. Well, then we could actually scale it on. Let's, let's scale it on X too. Let's try and you know squeeze this whole thing in on top. G. Kind of like that, but then that's missing down there. Of course, we could just press A and grab these vertices like this and move those only. Maybe move those into this location like that there. I mean, it, I'm sure you kind of get the idea by now what the challenge is. Let's look at it in here. All right, so tab. So there it is, all mapped on like that and around and nothing on the bottom. All right, so we have the other object in the scene. All right, let's go see what it looks like in rendered mode. Yep, okay, well now we're still gonna need a little more red towards the front of the scene, you know. This is getting a little bit overpowered with the yellows. We have some blues in the background. All right, well that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson.